Hello and welcome to Capricorn Makes. I'm Stacy, and man, I haven't done a prop video in a really long time, but that doesn't mean I haven't been buying any. Um, I have all sorts of stuff spread out all over here and I'm just going to try and catch up really quickly so that I'm not like, man, I ought to do a prop video. Yeah, but I got like 100 props or something like that I need to show off. Do I break it up? Eh. Yeah, we'll just show some. Anyway, uh, one of the first things I got, um, wow, it's, it's kind of big. <laughs> um, I got this chair and it has a hole in it. And I don't know what the hole is, but it reminds me of those like potty chairs like from when my mother was a small child. I don't know, they're weird. But um, it does mean dolls fit in it pretty well. It's uh, um, probably in between, like the Blythes look okay in it, but my MSDs also look okay in it. Yeah, I know it's not in the frame, but it's the biggest thing here. Whatever, it's fine. Um, I also got one of these really ubiquitous um, <laughs> chests, but I liked the, it's a little bit discolored inside. It wasn't, it wasn't like that when I bought it, so I'll have to see if the wood needs treating or anything like that. Um, I liked the color, I liked the, the carving on it. It has a slightly metallic sheen. Oh, that would be because this is fabric. I didn't realize that. I thought it was, I don't know what I thought it was, but, um, but I like it and I think it is, um, just a nice, nice size, um, for these sorts of things. Um, let's see this thing. Um, so this is a, um, it's just a little comb and mirror set. Um, but I actually really like, this is going to be freaky, let's see what happens. Um, I really like the size of this. Um, it is probably closer to SD, but um, if, like, I, I really have a thing for um, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, and it's kind of a fabulous, um, uh, like, magic mirror size. Um, and it looks really, really good in photos. Um, and the comb is just kind of you know, a, a, an aside. Like, it was like, I don't know, $4 for the set or something like that. Um, not all of this was thrifted. I did buy the mirror set. I did buy the box specifically. Was there anything else here? Oh, this was bought for me. Um, I had a friend um, uh, go away and there was a, like, a little miniature stall at, like, a night market or something that she walked by and she sent me all these photos. She's like, look at all these cool little things. Um, so they are very small. Like, this is probably, um, this is probably big enough to be used as, um, you know, a plate in SD or MSD, like a platter. Um, and, but all of the rest of these, these super teeny tiny, these just make me so happy. Um, these are definitely Blythe scale. Um, so, or like, you know, one sixth scale. Um, I need to stop saying Blythe scale because I, I do actually think I plan on getting like, um, a, like a little Limois or a, um, let's see, what are the little one sixth scales that I like? I like the, um, Limois Toyo Sarah, and I like uh, the Mary Doll Round, uh, like Dango and um, Moose, and I also really like the Mask Cat. Is her name Sonia? She has like a big headed um, 26 centimeter girl that is really charming. Um, I, I'm really uh, kind of feeling her at the same time. Uh, one of the other things, um, I have this wallet, and I was trying to cut it down. Um, to, to, cause it had like a big coin purse on the back of it and it was just too bulky to be in my pocket. And then I took it down to this and then it was still too bulky because of this little thing. However, um, I pulled all of the fabric off of the coin purse and I am going to be making like a, like I'll fill the edges, um, of it here so that it, um, will actually look like a proper bag. Um, but I, th and I will get some straps and I will make a SD, uh, like shoulder bag, like a messenger bag out of this, um, for some incoming SD eventually. Um, I don't actually have one on the way, but one is coming. Um, I, like, in one of my other prop videos, I said I was collecting, um, like vases and stuff for, um like a Rococo theme. And so I had basically just been grabbing any kind of little vase like this that I could. And this is what I've ended up with in addition to the other things in this category. Um, one of my um, other, um, 
one of my frequent haunts has um, like an amazing selection at completely random times um, of these little teeny tiny pottery things. Like I, I've gotten some from them before, um, the stuff that my silverware um, ended up going into. Um, but like these ones are uh, like non glazed. Um, and they look, they're fabulous MSD scale. They're actually big enough to be SD as well, depending on what you need. Um, this is a little bit big for MSD, but um, it's just, it all is just really charming and really nice. Uh, and you know, these are like a dollar or 50 cents or whatever when I go in, so it's it's hard to pass them up. Um, ooh, this has tape on it. Um, I found this wooden bowl plate thing with these wooden spatula thingies, who knows. These all seem to be like mustard and sauce jars, but, um, I thought this, uh, they, they just, they're the right scale for SD or a big, uh, MSD platter. And I mean, that's all that I'm doing. I'm just sort of building a prop library. So, um, yeah. And, um, I, I don't know if you can see the grain in this. It's really super shiny and lovely. Um, so I'm really pleased that I found that as well. Um, speaking of little mustard pots, um, or actually this is a salt and pepper shaker. So it's silver. It's very heavy. Um, but it looks really cool. It looks like one of the, um, like hot chocolate tumblers. Like it obviously doesn't have like the spout or anything, the samovars. Um, but yeah, it looks like a big freaking samovar. Um, and right before then I had actually found this little set, which, um, is, I believe, I think that's a salt shaker, and I believe these are mustard pots. I think this one, like, one of these is salt and one of these is mustard. Like, clearly this had something in it because it's completely corroded. I mean, not that it's dirty, it's just that whatever was in here, um, has reacted with the metal. Um, but it'll clean right up. And again, this is silver. Um, this one might just be plate silver, but this is definitely solid. Um... But yeah, so they have um, these little dishes in them um, that can come out so they don't have to be, you know, blue glass on the inside. Um, and then more, like these are, these would be, um, they're a bit large for SD, like actual spoons, but um, they're good for serving spoons and, and things like that. And they'll help, they just help sort of bring that something extra to a table. Um, along the same lines, um, I found this. Uh, it's just a little Bronte Yorkshire liqueur. Um, who knows what it is, but it looks really cool and it's got like a little cork top and um, it says four dollars on the bottom. I'm positive I didn't pay that for it. Um, I think this would have been in like in with my little dollar acquisitions, uh, but I just I like the scale of it. Um, it's just really fun and it will look good on a shelf. Um, Whoa, things are everywhere. Uh, so this came out of my husband's room. Oh, there, they're all caught up in this. Uh, um, this came out of my husband's room um, for a little thing that he has, but it wasn't staying on where it came from, and so it sort of ended up in my doll props. Um, it looks kind of silly on, but it is, it's quite nice, just sort of as a, like, on a table prop somewhere. Um, I have been sort of trawling the necklace things for, like, I have this one sort of as a long pendant, um, and it's, like, it's really delicate, like, the little bells and things, they're not actually bells, but, um, they're scaled in, in, in the way that they do look like, um, bells on there. Uh, I, I found these little cameo, um, their earrings. Um, and I've got two of them. I do have both of them. Uh, but these are an absolutely fantastic cameo size for, like, actual cameos for SDs. Uh, MSD it could be a large cameo, I guess. Um, but if you clip the posts down short and put, get, like, the little rubber earring backs, not rubber silicone, the earring backs like that, they actually make pins that sit flat into whatever you're whatever you're doing. You do have to sand the points down sometimes so they don't like catch and tear everything. But uh, I found this cool pot bowl thing. I don't know. I liked it. It is chipped, but I still liked it enough to get it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'll put that in with my pottery collection. I found this somewhere. I thought it was neat. Um, I think I got it at the time when I'm still seriously considering setting up a uh, sort of a Mongolian tent thing. So I was looking for, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I found this really awesome clock. It works. It needs a new battery. 
um, but the, the back pulls out and everything is still all in one piece. I just haven't tracked down a, a new flat uh, battery for it. But I love it. This is just perfect little MSD mantle clock. Um, more jewelry. Uh, I found this globe uh, that turns. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Again, this is probably more suited to one sixth scale, though it would probably work just fine in a uh, one quarter scale environment. Um, there are actually um, binoculars in there as well, but these are quite quite small. Um, and then I found this, uh, well, the shoe is sort of irrelevant, but I, I like this carriage. I thought this would be really fun just sort of as a shelf decoration. Uh, it is a little bit 3D. I don't think I paid $4 for this either. Um, but yeah, I was uh, I was quite pleased um, with these two, and then I found a little cool plate with an elephant. Um, and then let's see, uh, probably the three coolest things are left. Um, I found this carousel, this glass carousel. It's it's definitely on the big side for MSD, but would work just fine um, as a decoration for SDs. And it's um, it's showing it pretty well on camera. Um, it is, it catches the light so, so, so well. Um, and it doesn't feel like gluggy or weird or, um, it's just very sort of charming. <laughs> I, I'm really pleased that I found it. Again, I probably paid a dollar for that. Um, one of the most exciting things that I found, um, were actually these lamps. Now, I don't like the lamp bases. They're pretty awful. But they are actually working, um, they're actually working oil lamps that, uh, have wicks that work and they unscrew and they all do the thing. And, um, they are a little bit big for MSD, depending on what you're trying to do, uh, but they are a good size for SD as well. I mean, like, they could probably go in an MSD diorama and just be a large, large lamp. That's really fine. They need a really good clean, but I don't have the stuff that I need to clean this without um, changing uh, the texture of it, because it's whatever whatever metal this is, I'm, I'm worried about discoloring it. And really the last item that I have <laughs> is this wooden box, which is uh, S an SD scale backgammon game, which when I found this, I, uh, like, it's missing, I think, two or three of the pieces, um, but it's just gorgeous. All of this is inlaid wood um, of different textures, and it has the felt in the sides, and it does actually close all up properly. And um, yeah, I was just incredibly pleased when I found this little thing because it's, it, like, I, I wasn't at the time um, necessarily planning on getting any uh, SD dolls right away, uh, but I do have one now, <laughs> and I'm really glad that I picked this up because it's just way too neat um, to have left it behind. And I think eh, there are a couple other things like stashed here and there, but that is the vast majority of it, and I will feel um, so much better going forward being like, hey, look, I picked up these couple of items <laughs> um, at, at the thrift store when I was out, and yeah, uh, that was, uh, that is pretty much all of it for now. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.